Hi guys and ladies, you know, I was looking online again and I found a recipe for panfish and parchment paper and it says right below, if you don't have a parchment, no fear, use foil. Well, why not just say use foil in the beginning? Uh, at any rate, I think this is great for any kind of uh, delicate white fish there is. Let's give it a try and see how it comes out. Well, the recipe calls for a pound and a half, but I'm here alone, so I have half that amount, three quarters of a pound of panfish fillets. Now we have to get ready two large squares of parchment or foil. We're going with foil, of course. We're just slicing up some limes and lemons now. Well, oh, that ought to do it. I'm slicing up grape tomatoes to make about a half a cup. The original recipe said one cup, but we're going halvesies. We only need a couple of tablespoons of chopped onion. Have too much already here. Well, I've got these two big squares of foil and I've got eight bluegill fillets, big ones. So I'm going to put four on one piece of foil and four on the other piece of foil. Well, before I do any more, I better preheat the oven. I'll set it to 400 degrees according to the directions. It says I'm supposed to put these in the center. So I rearranged them just a bit. Hard to get them in the center, they're big. Now we're supposed to season them with salt and pepper. Makes sense. Now we're to add some Italian seasoning. Now I've got to add a tablespoon of butter to each of the packets. Here's where things get muddled. I'm supposed to fold this into a triangle. Then what do I do with the other ends? That'll be another triangle. And two triangles make, I don't know, a square or something. Well, I'll just tent it up, like a tent. Well, now I'm supposed to put these tented up bluegill fillets in the oven for 20 minutes. While the fish is in the oven, I still have something left to do. Now I've got this medium bowl. I'm reading the directions here. I'm supposed to put the tomatoes in there. Remember that? And then I'm supposed to put the onions. That's too much. Then I'm supposed to add about a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. That's not bad. Then I've got to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then it says to add a, a pinch of salt and pepper. Now we're going to mix it all up. I don't know about you, but I enjoy doing brand new recipes when I'm the only one at risk for a failure. Okay, I'm going to get our fish out of the oven. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, they smell good. Well, I'm anxious to see how it looks. Once again, the fragrance is so divine. I'm going to pour about half of this tomato mixture on it now. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I've been eating this and it's very, very good, but it isn't great. I'm looking for greatness. This is good, good, more than good. Um, I like the herbs, the seasonings, the fish, but you know, I think I prefer fried fish. I do appreciate your watching. I'm gonna put the recipe below. So if you have any suggestions to make it great, let me know. In the meantime, I have no trouble finishing this. Thanks again. Bye. Semi-great.